On the west coast, hunting can be pretty tough work with long walks, steep terrain and one of the most difficult animals in New Zealand to hunt, the introduced Himalayan tar. One of the best spots to base yourself is here at Top Butler near Franz Joseph Glacier and thanks to a new swing bridge, this prime location has been opened up for hunters, climbers and keen outdoors folk. How important is it to have a new swing bridge here at the Top Butler? Well, for 35 odd years, the people that have gone up to Ice Lake have had trouble with, with access at the oh, start of the day, end of the day. Uh, winter time, it's not so bad, but in summertime, the river rises really quickly with snow melt. And just a typical West Coast shower of rain, you just might not be able to get back to where your gear is. What kind of people in general are staying up here and what are they doing? Well, most of the people are definitely hunters. There's a few climbers, a few hardcore trampers, but the, the hunters are the number one users of Top Butler Hut here. What are they hunting? Well, they're hunting tar and chamois, yep. There's um, a few red deer in the valley as well, but not so much up around here. How long have we had tar and chamois here in the Southern Alps? Just over 100 years, so they were both liberated at Mount Cook. What sort of vegetation are we trying to protect when we're managing tar? Well, they are spread right through the bigger forest, but it is mainly the alpine stuff. It's a very harsh environment, um, short growing season, and um, yeah, it just doesn't take long for them to decimate some of the species there. Do they like the old Mount Cook lilies? They do like the Mount Cook lily, yes. How tricky are tar to hunt? The animals themselves, just the place that they live in makes it hard. And um, like this stream here, this comes up every day as the snow melts. And so we could cross this easily in the morning and we want to come back in the evening, possibly in the dark, because the animals come out at four, five, six o'clock in summer. We want to stay out there until it's dark. So if we come back to here, and this is too high for us to cross, I mean, a lot of people drown in the, in the high country. It'll make a huge difference to that. It, it actually means we've got a safe route. If there's an afternoon shower, which is quite common on the coast, this stream will come up quite fast and um, even though you know it's happening, there's no way you can get back down here quick enough. And on the other side of the stream, you can actually see the hut, and that, you know, it's a big temptation to just try to make it. We need to keep um, on top of these animals and manage them effectively, and um, as hunters, we want to be part of that. It shows that Doc does care about hunters. Yeah, that's a good thing. We need, we need a partnership. People come from all over New Zealand as well, and from the other side of the world. You've only got to look through the hut book, and there's people from Finland, Denmark, and, and this is one of those places they have to go. We bring hunters in from the Wairau Bridge to here. All types of people come in here, young people, old people, families, and go and hunt from the hut here, and it's a good base for them to work back to. How long have you been flying? About 30 years. And uh, do you think you'll ever get tired of coming up here? Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> By providing better access for keen tar hunters, it's a perfect way to support recreation opportunities and get a great conservation outcome.